affiliate websites and content that pay off. The obvious choice would be to put that effort into your website and content. You can achieve the same results by simply refreshing the content of your website. You can add to its archives and additional resources sections, without muddying the primary pages we established before, and still give current information and additional value to your customers and to the search engines. Not only can you add additional content, but you can test and tweak and change the content you haven't tested against past versions. As you'll learn, even very small, seemingly insignificant changes can really make a big difference to traffic and conversions. Spend the time you would spend posting on a blog to look for ways that you can tweak or enhance your website. And don't forget UVE got that master site to build. Instead of devoting time to a minimal return blog, why not get started on your big catch-all so that you can dominate your niche traffic? Articles, articles and more articles. All the articles you write, or hire out to a freelance writer to have written, do not need to be posted on your website. In fact, they shouldn't be. Use those primary articles and tutorials on your site, add some new stuff now and again to keep everyone happy, and then submit to article directories. Utilize profile and link capabilities to link back to your website, the authority on widgets. You might know this method by other popular names, like bum marketing or article marketing. Subscriber lists and mailings. This is something you need to take some care with. Subscriber lists are not recommended for all types of products, leastwise, building your list through squeeze pages isn't recommended for everyone. For many sites, the presence of a squeeze page between the website and merchant offer will only turn the visitor of and send them packing to the next, less demanding provider. Still, there are ways to make subscriber lists work. If your product lends itself to this type of sales, then spend time crafting great emails and marketing campaigns instead. Social marketing. Social marketing is what is driving Web 2.0. Instead of spending your time on a new blog people may or may not eventually find, spend it on the blogs of others who've already captured your audience. Become a contributing member of the community, make some friends, and use your wit and wisdom to get people to click on your name, link, or profile and visit your website. Do the same by creating pages on social websites like Squidoo and MySpace, frequent forums and other places where potential buyers may gather. By engaging in social marketing, you're bringing your products to the masses, rather than waiting for them to find you. It's a much more active approach, and one that can be tailored to offer that all-important focus your affiliate plan needs. Not only that, but it's a lot more fun than talking to yourself on your blog, too and you won't have to worry about maintaining it when you're off on vacation enjoying all that big dog affiliate cash. Now that we've addressed the question of blogging, let's move on and talk about the one thing that dominates the internet playing the web game to pull in the traffic. In the next few chapters, we'll talk about how to run with the big dogs that run the whole show Google and its peers, if Google has a true peer, next, we'll get into the issue of search engines and optimizing to make them your friends. It's crucial to affiliate marketing, so don't miss these next few episodes. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.